This is the key to dressing up a casual outfit. for coming back to my channel. It means so much to me. This is gonna be a sort of mixture of seasons. Spring, summer, bridal, and honeymoon haul. And I hope that you enjoy it because I actually have quite a bit of stuff that I want to show you guys. So the first thing I wanna show you is this uh, bike short set that I got from Nordstrom. It's by the brand Girlfriend Collective. So one, the color is what stood out to me the most. This beautiful, deeper lavender color. And I just love, I mean, the color is what stood out to me the most. And it's just this biker short set that comes with this crop top. So far, I've only worn it around the house, but I definitely would plan on wearing it for doing some yoga, maybe walking the dogs. This would be a perfect outfit for that. And obviously, I've only been married for a couple of weeks, but ever since getting married, I knew that I would take more consideration to the type of loungewear that I'd be wearing just because there would be another person in the house with me. And so I got these cute, cheeky dolphin shorts from Urban Outfitters. I love the muted navy tone. I really like how these athletic looking shorts are high waisted as well. So love these. So the next thing that I actually have been pairing with these dolphin shorts is this crew neck sweatshirt that I got from Everlane. It's like a, I don't even know what you'd call it, but I just love the color so much. The material is amazing and thick and super soft. I did purchase this specifically for traveling. For my job, I actually travel quite a bit, so this is gonna be perfect to just throw on on top of any outfit. I found this on the sale rack and I absolutely fell in love with the silhouette of these jeans. And this is by the brand Something Navy. It gave a more straight leg with the raw hem. And I also liked how high-waisted they are. They, they hit about an inch over my belly button. So they are pretty much perfect for the summer and really any season. At least here in Texas. So the next thing I got, I also bought for my honeymoon. Okay, it looks see-through, but it's actually really not see-through when you're wearing it. And there's a window right behind me. But it's a super airy and light romper one thing i love about this romper is that it's a halter top and so i could just kind of slip it on and go out the door or put it over my swimsuit or something and this is from asos and you can definitely dress it up or dress it down oh my gosh i love this shirt uh, is it even considered a shirt meh i don't know but this is also from urban outfitters and it's just this really cute airy crop top that goes off the shoulder. You can wear it, I think, on like on your shoulders and off, but I liked I liked how it looked with, with off the shoulder. I do really love this. I don't really see myself wearing this much outside of vacationing. It's just kind of revealing for my taste, but for honeymoon, any trip with my husband, I think would definitely uh, be suitable. I purchased a black bathing suit top from ASOS that I wanted to wear for my honeymoon, but it actually was too tight and too small for me, but I found, Pretty much the same exact one, if not one that looked a little better to me. Um, it has the adjustable straps from H&M, and this is just the cute little bikini top that goes straight across, and I really just love that. It gives it kind of like a 90s vibe. I mean, these have been out for a while. I just wanted to get my hands on it, and I always wear black tops because they match with any bottom, and I think black is just super flattering on pretty much everybody. This is actually one of the first purchases that I got for um, specifically for the honeymoon was this beautiful midi sundress that has a little triangle cut out right here and has some ruching details here to kind of cinch it up near the bust area. And this was from Nordstrom with the brand Chelsea 28. And I really loved wearing this on the honeymoon. I wore this twice um, as well because it was just so easy to slip on. This is like the perfect honeymoon dress. It's elegant and it's sexy. And of course, who doesn't love olive cream? I got this, this light salmon zebra print colored tube top midi dress and it has a high slit. This is from Urban Outfitters and I really love this. It's very girly and definitely not what I would typically wear. The fact that it's a tube top dress and it's midi 
is something that I definitely would wear. It's just the color, the pattern is just a little out there. I, I think it's really, really adorable though. So the next dress that I bought also is from Urban Outfitters. I, I think Urban was having a sale. I think it was 40% off dresses. So I took advantage of that sale and I bought this. Again, another midi dress, but beautiful colors, beautiful pattern and it's cinched at the waist and then it kind of flows out like a very slim A-line. And then it has the ties up here on the straps. And I just thought this was a pretty classic silhouette. I'll probably end up wearing this to a wedding that I have that I'm going to uh, this summer. Oh my gosh, I love 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 this dress. Probably one of my favorite purchases of this summer. As you can tell, it's terracotta. I love terracotta. It's super flowy and light and airy and it has that deep V. It kind of has like a high-low type of feel to it, but I'll show you in the clip here. It has an open back and it, I just love this. I love everything about this dress really. I wore this for our rehearsal dinner. We had a rehearsal at the brewery outside where it was extremely hot but um, this dress was perfect for being outside and I just absolutely loved it. I kind of got over the idea of wearing white to all of your bridal festivities just because there are only so many white dresses. I've been looking for a pair of overall shorts for quite some time that actually would fit me because I'm kind of short. I'm five, two and a half. These are perfect. I love how they're kind of a looser fit. I basically, balance that out by over cuffing the leg area. I wore these on a picnic with my friends and it was just the perfect, I don't know, it was just the perfect outfit for a picnic. So we went to Lululemon and I actually found this really, really cute high-waisted white swimsuit that is a perfect swimsuit, I would say. And I love that it's white and also this is a perfect swimsuit for if you want to do water sports or if you're running around because it just it just hugs everything right in and nothing's going anywhere in this. I felt like it was time to get a new pair of sunglasses because I had been wearing my circle Ray-Bans for a few years now and I thought these were a perfect upgrade. They're so cute, oh my gosh. Before I bought these, I felt like they were very out of my comfort zone, but I mean, they go with so many things. And I also bought an orangey red lipstick that complemented these so well, and it was just perfect. These kind of remind me of um, the sunglasses that Paolo wore in the Lizzie McGuire movie, or they remind me of those like blue tinted sunglasses that I used to buy from Limited 2 that would have like the rhinestones on the side. I don't know if you can tell, but the hardware is not actually gold. It's like a rose gold and that, and it just, it's just perfect. These are perfect sunglasses. I love these. The next thing that I want to show you guys um, are these earrings that I bought for my wedding. And I actually got these pretty last minute. Trying to focus these. Okay, here we go. Yep. And there are these wooden dangly earrings that I found at Free People. And lastly, for shoes, I just wanted to quickly show you guys the shoes that I bought for my wedding. We had a very casual outdoor summer wedding, and that was the vibe I was going for. It was really just you know, laid back, kind of bohemian. This actually was a last minute purchase. These are from Madewell. I love these shoes so much. I actually wore them so many times on our honeymoon when we went out to dinner. This is the key to dressing up a casual outfit and making yourself look more put together. I love them so much. I don't even know how many times I can say that. And yeah, they were perfect wedding shoes, super comfortable and they went really well with my dress and I'm really happy with how it all turned out. And so the last thing I'm gonna show you that is my most recent purchase from Nordstrom are these cutoff shorts from Levi's. These are probably the shortest shorts that I own, but I have not been able to find a nice pair of cutoff shorts for forever. I don't think I've ever found a nice pair. I love the size of the pockets, my butt doesn't hang out, and I can pair it with things like this. And this is the tunic top that I got when I was in Bali from that brand Mau Mau. If you watched my Bali haul and if you didn't, then go ahead and check that out. I'll link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed that or found some inspiration with uh, the clothes that I bought. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, again, please 
give me a comment. So I'm excited for the next video. I hope you guys can stay tuned and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Can we just appreciate how insanely large this mirror is? It's 75 inches.